Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the number one exercise that's going to help you guys out in your at-home workouts, when you're working out in the gym or anywhere, even just walking around to prevent any type of pain or just to make sure that your exercise form is pristine. What's going on guys? This is Pete from PeteIsip.com. Thank you guys for coming back out. Today, I want to talk about the number one exercise that I think is super overlooked because I do it myself and I take it for granted and I make sure that uh, I do add it into my programs, but there's a lot of times that I do this exercise and I kind of mess it up and that's the plank. Now I know it sounds so stupid, but if you watch the other video, check out the card above, I talk about the reasoning that boring exercises are important. Right? It's because it does involve a lot of thinking. It does involve a lot of mechanics. And a plank, a lot of people just sit there and I'll show you a video of a plank. There. This is what a plank looks like. Right? This is what it, it seems like it looks like. And then they, they have these competitions of this person plank for 14 hours, 35 minutes, and 37 seconds, 0.5 or something like that, I'm not even sure. Maybe 13 days they planked for. I don't know if they were reading a magazine or if they just hung out there on their elbows and toes, and that's what most people do when they're in a plank. And I see it in yoga, I see it in Pilates, I see it in physical therapy, I see it in gyms. I see people do planks incorrectly. Why? Because I was that person doing it super incorrectly. Right, I would just stand there and hit the plank. I'm on my elbows, I'm on my toes. I could sit here for hours. Honest, I used to see a person at this old gym I worked at, and this is like 9, 2008, maybe 2008. I was in downtown Jersey City before it became New York City. This lady would do a plank while reading a book. And I would train a person and she'd still be there. And I would ask her like, that's a long plank. She's like, yeah, well, I just like the plank. I'm not gonna, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I'm not going to intrude anymore. But then I looked at the plank and I watched the plank and it really wasn't a plank. It was more of an extension, lower lumbar extension, which is something you don't want, right? Lower lumbar extension, let me explain, means there's an extension inside your low back. So pretty much from here-ish down, right? I don't think I need to get into the science of it. From there to there, and that's where it is. And you don't want that to have much extension. You don't want that to have much rotation. You want that to be as stable as it can. So the tips that I'm going to give to you guys today is to make sure you're not that lady at the same time. You're not making the biggest mistake that we watch on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, MySpace, Friendster, ZoomZom. We see them all, okay? Because there's a thousand challenges and it, it requires a plank when a plank could only just be 10 seconds, right? An efficient plank can only be just as 10 seconds. So I'd rather be the hardest, best version of a plank that you can rather than a drawn out two minute grueling plank where you're losing your form, you're losing your thought, and you're losing your intention of your exercise. And that was the theme of, of this week was to make sure we dialed into our exercises and making sure that we slow it down a little bit, especially you beginners, is to slow down the pace and let's get into the mechanics. So I want you guys to come down to the floor with me and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna do this. Hi guys. So, so with this plank, there's a big mistake, right? And that is pretty much, if someone's gonna go on their elbows, whether it's a push-up plank, this is a plank as well, guys, okay? This counts as a plank, don't forget. <clears throat> Just because it's not hard doesn't mean it's not a plank. So, a lot of times people get into the plank and then we'll have this extension, which means you're gonna get a nice dip or the valley inside the lower backs are gonna be here. So they're on their toes, their hips are down. It's like someone doing a really bad push-up. But for me, this actually hurts my lower back. It's actually pinching and I'm not getting full engagement. Okay, so what you really want to do is I want to get my elbows into the ground. You go this way if you want to here or just your hands. And then you want to bring your hips up and I want to squeeze my feet together, right? I want to squeeze my thighs together, squeeze my butt together. And at the same time, I want to take these ribs, I want to crunch them down. But I want to round this out as tight as I can. Keep this nice and tight here in that rib cage. Pull that rib cage down towards the hips. So from here, I'm on the elbows and I'm going to pull the ribs down. My butt might peak up a little bit, but it's not going to be up here. Right? Uh, nor do I want to be down here. I want to keep it right here. Squeeze, engage. And now I'm starting to shake. Two, one, and down. So that's the, the, the biggest thing with the plank is keeping that engagement and preventing you from disconnecting the movement. Okay, I want to get everything to connect at the same time. So the plank is not an easy movement if you make it hard. Okay, so if you think about it, you put the intention of the exercise, it makes your plank 10 times better, 25 times better, 
At the same time, now you're gonna start burning more calories because now you're connecting all the other muscles since you're like, that's, that's, that's the home base. You'll start connecting more muscles, you'll burn more calories, you'll get more efficiency, and you'll get, actually get stronger. So another thing we could add to that plank is pulling the elbows in. So what I'm thinking about here is I'm gonna take my elbows and my ribs and I wanna pull them in. So I wanna pull my elbows like that, okay? So elbows are gonna come in nice and tight. Daisy's gonna jump on me. Because mom, and then Daisy is gonna, she's always in a plank. All right, guys, before the dog interrupted us, what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those elbows and now I want to kind of pull everything together and really make it hard. So from here, I'm gonna throw the elbows in. My thumbs are right over my nose, okay? I don't want it high, I don't want it out here. I wanna get it right underneath my nose. I'm gonna lift my hips up, squeeze. Now, if I can and make it harder, I'm going to. Pull. See from that in the, that motion, bang, bang. Pull those elbows in as tight as I can. I'm gonna squeeze my butt, squeeze my thighs. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Just like that, you're gonna feel that connection in your entire body. And now that's a plank. So hopefully you understand the difference of the plank. And as a recap, remember, uh, just doing a plank is not just sitting there with the elbows in and arching the back. It's really getting engagement of everything that you have, right? From the toes, to the, the knees, to the quads, to the hips, to, to your glutes, to your abs, to your obliques, chest, elbow, shoulders, everything stacked. Neck position, you don't want to hang it down too low. You don't want to keep it arched up really high. You want to stack it with the neutral spine and really getting that movement dialed in. Because in order to prevent exercise, the biggest uh, physical therapy tip that I could give to you when I, I do talk to physical therapists all the time, you can check out some of the videos that we put up before. He says, make everything a plank. So not only does it make your exercise or your workout harder, it makes you have to think more. And now lower back pain decreases knee pain decreases, elbow pain decreases, because now you're stable. And all your body wants is stability. It just wants to find stability, like in life, right? We wanna find stability. So working out is always a metaphor to life. Your body wants stability, so do you. So why are we going to do workouts that are not gonna let you create that stability first, especially in the beginner phases? As you get better, you're not gonna have to think about it as much. But look, I just did a, an example I'm still shaking whenever I do planks, especially warming up with plank work. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tip. If you have any questions, do me a favor, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you like up, subscribe, because I'm here. I ain't going nowhere, but I'm here for you guys, and I'm glad you guys came out. Um, and if you need any help, just you can message me, you can comment if you feel a little shy. Find me on any platform uh, on social media. Shoot me a DM, and I will answer the questions for you if you need it. All right? So thanks again for coming out. This is Pete from PeteIsaac.com. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. And hopefully, I will see you guys somewhere in life. See you guys later. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out these videos here just to keep working in and keep working on you. And if you have any questions, please be sure to contact me. And if you enjoy this channel, hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere here or there. It's somewhere. It's here. It's there. I don't know where it is. All right. Thanks, guys.